stem cells hello there so today we are going to discuss about stem cells and obviously i believe you might have heard about stem cells been used widely in medicine so let us understand a little bit more about this stem cells these are primary cells which means they can be taken directly from living tissues and can be grown in a controlled setting for medical uses stem cells do so through mitotic division and they can differentiate to become any specialized cells they can thus become cardiac cells skeletal muscles or skin they are the basic building blocks of life and they serve to repair our body systems the stem cells are believed to have the regenerating properties like the lizard which loses its tail and regrows it these stem cells does the same thing for our body tissues and the best part is that it can differentiate into any type of cells or tissues now these stem cells have different characteristic at different phases of life thus they are divided into two main types and further have subgroups so we have the embryonic stem cells and the adult stem cells and as the name suggest embryonic stem cells are taken from an embryo and are present during the earliest stages of development only while the adult stem cells appear during the fetal development but remains in our body throughout the life when we talk about the embryonic stem cells they are taken from the inner cell mass of the blastocyst stage this is the 30 to 50 cell stage at which the zygote differentiates into inner cell mass which will further become the embryo while the outer cell nourishes and protects it so it is the inner cell mass cells that are taken for harvesting so within 4 to 5 days after fertilization the cells are acquired embryonic stem cells are the most preferred because of two important qualities which make them special the first is self renewal capacity that is they can divide to make more stem cells so as to maintain the required amount the next important feature is pluripotency that is these cells can differentiate into any type of cells which make them perfect for creating specialized cells in our body these cells can be used therapeutically for regeneration or replacement of diseased or destroyed cells though creating specialized tissues are subjected to a lot of other factors and is still under research also since the cells are taken from the inner cell mass the embryo is destroyed which is an ethical issue with this procedure as many people may get pregnant and destroy the fetus for stem cell production remember the development of specialized cells from these stem cells is also not easy now a more ethical way of getting stem cells is through umbilical cord blood which can be collected from the placenta or umbilical cord once the baby is delivered this is much easier to acquire and does not cause any harm to the mother or to the baby and is now been used worldwide to treat many diseases and transplant procedures they are thus now commonly preserved in cord blood bank for use in the future preserving this cord blood helps in stopping them from aging and protects them from environmental and other factors keeping them viable whenever they are needed now coming to adult stem cells they are further divided into hemopoietic stem cells and bone marrow stromal cells even though the stem cells in embryo are abundant and much more flexible they do not disappear as the person grows but rather spreads across the body and plays the role of repairing and regenerating tissues their numbers in adults are quite less but adequate for survival the adult stem cells are undifferentiated multipotent progenitor cells which can differentiate into any specialized cells thus the hemopoietic stem cells are progenitors of blood cells and produces and replenishes the rbcs wbcs and platelets throughout our lifespan 
So from this one stem cells, any of the three cells is produced. The other type of adult stem cell is the bone marrow stromal cells, also commonly called as mesenchymal stromal cells. They are acquired from the stroma, which are the connective tissues surrounding various organs and tissues. These cells have been found to differentiate into cardiac and skeletal muscle cells, though they are not fully understood and its success depends totally on the area from where it is isolated and how it is acquired and grown. Now lastly, before we wind up, let us talk briefly about a newer approach to stem cells, that is the induced pluripotent stem cells. They are the newer type of stem cells which are engineered in the lab to allow normal tissues or cells to behave like embryonic stem cells. These are still been researched and not widely used. So this is all in stem cells. If you require any further detail about the same topic, please do leave a comment in the comment section. For more such information, please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.